What's up? I'm from Urchfab. In today's video, I'm going to be making a knob extension. So I think if uh, we're being honest, most of us guys could do with a knob extension. This knob extension is going to be for for the MX-5 uh, shifter. So if you've ever driven an MX-5, <coughs> you'll know that they've got <coughs> a really um, short shifter on them. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to basically make an extension to bring it up a little bit nearer to the steering wheel so you're not reaching down quite as far. So that's what we're doing. Got a nice chunk of aluminum. Yeah, going to be the first little lathe project. First of many. So I had loads of uh, replies on my last video, last lathe video. So thanks to everyone that uh, commented and replied on that, answering my questions. Uh, lots of people mentioned about my you know, ripped shirt when you're working on a lathe, which is a bad idea, obviously, which I can see. So the baggy shirt is gone. I've been told the only way to safely oper operate a lathe is uh, to be butt naked, covered in oil, with your dick tucked in between your legs. But I'm not sure uh, YouTube would approve of that, so we'll roll as we are for today. In reply to my question about the uh, auto feed getting stopped by this, the replies were like, pretty much 50-50. Some people were saying, yeah, it's got a mechanism that will just flick off. And then the other half were saying it hasn't and it will just mash it. But a few people said to just set the auto feed going, grab this wheel. If it, if it knocks it off, then it's got the, the thing built in and it will stop. So that's what I did. Grab the wheel, knocks it off. So yeah, this will stop the carriage. But I'm not sure that's the purpose of it, but it does it anyway, just in case. So that's good. What I have been doing is some cleaning. So let's take a moment to appreciate all my scrubbing. So I stripped all this apart, took everything apart, wire wheeled everything off, oiled it all up, took all the chuck apart, stripped all these out, wire wheeled it all, oiled it up, because it was a little bit it was a little bit uh, notchy when you sort of adjust, uh, when you tightened it or loosened it, so it's uh, all working like new now. So that's mint. Also did all my tool holders, stripped all these apart, wire wheeled everything, all the bolts, and I've got some tooling which I'm going to try today. That's obviously for parting off, and then I watched a video on the carbide tips. About 20 minute video and I'm still not really any the wiser as to what's what to be honest. I've got a lot of spare tips but I don't actually have a lot of the holders that fit them so the only one I've got that fits all the spares for these were actually used just put back in the packet. Uh, this is the only style that I have got spares for. Uh, I don't know what is best for Ali or, or steel. That was the one I used the other day that was on there. That worked pretty well on the steel, but I'm just going to, obviously this is for doing like 45 degree chamfers, but that one there is actually pretty mullered, but um, yeah, I don't have any spares for that. So I've drawn a picture of my knob extension, and uh, this is what we're going for. So the total length is uh, 135 mil, which is basically the length of that piece of uh, aluminum that I've got. 38 mil across the uh, top, 50 mil down, and then turn down to 22 mil for the last 85 mil. And then we've got an M10 thread in there which is a fine pitch thread, so I'll have to check that I've got a tap to fit that. And then this is just like three groove lines. But yeah, that should be a nice, simple project for an amateur lathe operator. Machinist is the word I was looking for. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm just going to try these different cutters and see which uh, <coughs> one gives me the best results. Yeah, the other thing is uh, these dials are imperial. Lots of people saying that you just switch them over to metric, but I've stared at this and played around with it for ages and I can't see any way that that is possible. So uh, it's just going to be a case of working out on here where it gets me a kind of good reading for millimetres. But. What a mess. All right. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Go back to this. Okay. So, I know I should be getting a chip and not a uh, bird's nest. Is that the wrong kind of uh, tip for Ali? Is that a steel one or something? I'm sure there's lots of engineers having a good old laugh. Let's try the, the trusty old uh, one that I started off with. Seems to get good results with some steel on this. Six mil. I mean, this seems to be doing the best out of what I've tried so far, but still not getting uh, any kind of chip. So that's leaving a nice finish, but we're still getting these stragglers, but they are actually breaking up instead of staying into one big long thing. So I'll try. Slowing the feed down a little bit, see if that works, try speeding it up a little bit and uh, see where we end up. At 40.60, so we need to take off 2.6, so I need to work out. I have an idea. So one, so 10 increments on there is 0.12 of a millimeter. So if I do, what do I say I need to take off? 2.6. Oh. Alright, so 10 rotations would be 1.20. We need 1.30, so if we do 11 notches, we should be a fraction over 2.6. So I'll do 10.8 and that should be pretty close, I think. Oh! Gone too much. 37.81. We're getting kind of smaller chips as we go. Now I need to take this out and turn the other side. 
all the way down to 22 mil, so that's going to take a while. So I will uh, probably speed that up a bit. That's a pretty nice finish, so. Okay, so I've got this thing down to 24.6 millimeters. I want to end up on uh, 22. So I need to take 10 increments on this is taking 2.4 millimeters off the total diameter. So um so I'm going to do two light cuts because it seems to be the lighter the cut I make the better it seems to be uh, chipping off. Get your bets in. Oh! It's close. It's close. Close, but no cigar. Almost, though. Pretty good. Pretty good for me, anyway. So uh, I still never really found, like I was occasionally getting kind of chips, but um, definitely not where they should be. Um, not sure if it's, I messed around with different feeds, different speeds, different depths of cut. Uh, I got a nice finish, but yeah, I was getting a lot better results on steel with the chips. But um, I don't know if it's because this is much softer and it's just chewy, so you can't, you can't cut very deep with it. But uh, the, where I ended up was at roughly one millimeter depth of cut at a time, which took quite a long time to turn that down. But we got there in the end. So what I want to do now is chamfer all the corners and put my three groove lines in it and then we can drill and tap the end Need a thread in the end there. All right, so the thread we need is a uh, fine pitch M10 by 1.25 in the end of there.
Got thread tapped in there. Quite hard work. Uh, seemed to be just sort of chewing in there. I was a bit worried it was going to snap off. I don't know if that's the material or just because I've got a cheap tap that's probably blunt, but I'm going to take these um, sharp edges off with a file. So the only thing left to do now is to polish my So this is the uh, MX-5 shifter, as you can see how short it is. Not bad, happy with that. I enjoyed making that. There's something kind of relaxing about working on a lathe. I don't know if it's just staring at something that's spinning or like it's nice just to do something, um, do something a bit different. Past six weeks have just been absolutely flat out trying to catch up with uh, all my work and stuff. And um, yeah, I'm feeling it a bit. I've got uh, probably three more big jobs to get done. And um, once those are done, I'll be all caught up and um, that should give me some time to make some more videos and just chill out a bit and do some of the stuff I actually want to do. So yeah, I've got, I got a whole load of videos planned out, just haven't uh, been able to have the time to actually do them. So, But yeah, they are coming up. If you didn't see my last video, the car is now being painted, well being prepped, uh, ready for paint. So you can, there's a, be a link in the description, you can go and watch that being done. Really happy with my new lathe, um, really enjoying using it and learning some new skills. So um, thanks again Rob for finding me that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one.